hello everyone hope you all are doing good and in this video i'm going to share one secret of mine which i used to follow not just for learning automation but for anything okay so like uh, first let me like uh, tell you the approach and after that uh, like just comment down below if you feel like you agree with this approach so let's say uh, like while learning automation testing so firstly tell me like uh, let me tell you the mistake which i used to learn uh, like which i used to make okay previously so the thing is that uh, learning automation without learning java so if you don't have the programming knowledge or let's say language specific knowledge so like you can pick either java language c sharp but if you are not well versed with the language then obviously you will you are going to have a difficulty in learning the automation okay so like this is the thing and uh, with this the manual testing i'll say that uh, you can continue learning automation because this is something like if you know that okay uh, like this is this is the path i have opened my google home page and this is the thing which i have to click on but if you are not uh, like if you are not good with the manual testing part then you will like uh, face difficulties in asserting things because like what is what is testing it is uh, like whatever we have whatever the result we have we have to like assert it against something okay so that means like actual versus expected right so how do we test this expected part through assertions okay so if you are not uh, like good in the manual testing part then you are going to like have problems here but i'm sure like uh, with with few iterations you are going to learn this thing so like these are the two prerequisite which i strongly recommend before learning automation testing now coming to the approach the like uh, the normal approach which i have seen is that guys learning like finding expats okay then probably uh, going for drop downs like methods like various methods which are present in the selenium framework plus uh, like action class okay after that uh, maybe like uh, this is through the select class like handling pop ups okay and after that like doing all these things we go and make the automation framework so like what used to happen with me is that by the time i am reaching here like uh, this is too much of load and i am not able to exactly connect with these things so that's why like many times it happens that i give up in between okay here here and and you know that once you give up you have to start all over again right so this is one thing which i feel um, like is not good and not perfect i will i'll not say not good because uh, like i used to give up here if if you can complete the whole series till here then it's really like hats off to you otherwise like if you are like me and you tend to give in between so for that like i have uh, like what approach uh, i follow now is that don't just uh, like let's say let's take an example that you have taken google home page okay so this is google.com and you have write a one page script so whatever like you don't have any framework in hand and you just like and don't do like uh, much things just only like click on this search box and enter the value that's it so you can write i'm sure like most of you will able to write that script okay now after that one page script try to like segregate the methods and your assertions that you can do like um, by methods i mean uh, like all the expats which you have found and like whatever those like uh, different methods are doing you can segregate the, uh, them in the page class okay after that like all the assertions which you are doing you can write a separate test class and with this maybe you can write a common class like a base class where here like what you can do is uh, like introduce test ng and uh, write your before method and after method okay setup and tear down and everything okay this much is also 
like easy part nothing nothing fancy just just one thing which we have to like keep in mind is that how our um, like how we are calling this page class from this base class and this test class okay how these things are interrelated that is that is the thing which you have to keep in mind okay now if you are done with the, this thing or possibly like after doing this thing you can check that whether your script is working fine or not okay if script is okay then we can continue with the third part so third part can include like uh, including screenshot on failure or possibly your reporting okay reporting plus like a screenshot is also a part of reporting because uh, in this when your test case are failing so that should include the screenshots for that like either you can use extent report ex extent report or possibly a layer report okay and like there is an test ng report also so like this is by default but uh, i suggest you to use either one of them okay if like okay try to just include it make a separate like class okay and uh, try to fit the logic with this and after that what you can do is like push your code into the into the git uh, repo, repo repo sorry for that push the code in git repo that's it like if if you are able to uh, do all the things still here then i'm sure like it will be very easy for you to learn the like automation testing and like after each and every step you have to verify that your scripts are running fine you are not facing any difficulty and that's it so like uh, i am planning to make a series in which like uh, we will um, like start from the basic google home page or possibly like take flipkart or amazon like i don't generally prefer uh, the e-commerce site but still like any any website any popular website we can take and uh, we will write the basic maybe one or two methods okay after that like we will start building our framework from that so if you are interested uh, in this video just comment down interested if you are watching on mobile i'm sure like it's difficult to type it down but still like either like this video or like uh, possibly comment i just i and i'll understand that you are interested in this video and i'll try to make the video on the same and currently like i am doing the 10 medium like 10 programming like medium difficulty programming questions for qa okay and if you haven't watched that just go and watch that series and before that i have already made like 10 basic um, basic qa programs and the reason i'm covering this is that like if you if you sit in any interview so before before your technical your coding like nowadays many organizations have introduced a coding round initially so until and unless you fix this part like uh, you will not be able to reach it uh, here okay so that's why like try to i'll not say cram but uh, like if you can practice two or three times these basic programs and i will link uh, down that uh, video in the description box so you can have a look and i'm sure like if you can practice these 10 basic programs two or three times you will be able to like uh, explain it at the time of interview and similarly like if uh, those are good organizations or possibly it can happen that one program can from uh, come from the basic one and the second program come can come from the medium one so in either case like uh, you can have you can have an understanding and you can tell the answer so based on that uh, like you can give the answer and after clearing your coding round only you are going for the next round that is the technical round and uh, there like they are going to test your uh, testing skills so i hope this video was useful for you and again like uh, if you have uh, enjoyed this video just hit that like button it will surely help me to create more such videos in future so thank you guys shailesh kumar signing off bye